today we will be reviewing a new firmware uh, for Nikon Z9 that is a 4.1 which is including a, a bird subject detection and we will check how it performs in the field for uh, static birds and birds in flight basically from uh, firmware 1.0 to the 4.0 Nikon Z9 has improved many capabilities in terms of autofocus uh, but uh, when we talk about like a specific to the bird photography sometimes uh, birds uh, remains behind their branches and in that case uh, when we use uh, 3D tracking or a large area uh, large wide uh, autofocus mode then uh, in that case uh, autofocus keeps jumping on the branches and some other places which is uh, coming in front of the bird but with this new firmware let's see if it can stick to the particular bird even though there are there will be like any obstacle in front of it so let's try and let's see how it performs so today I am testing here brand new Nikon firmware 4.1 which includes uh, bird eye tracking or bird tracking uh, which is a little bit different than the animal tracking that we have. So I have used uh, this uh, particular firmware in the field for a couple of hours and uh, usually I, I am uh, looking for uh, taking the flight shots so I am not much into the <laughs> still uh, photography but uh, my initial imp impression from this particular firmware is like uh, I am getting good keeper with this particular firmware and I would say that it is very vast improvement than uh, what we had in uh, previous firmwares uh, like uh, stickiness is very great like uh, it uh, once it locks to the particular bird uh, it follows uh, uh, I would say there are uh, uh, not uh, really much difference between uh, in the flight shot but if I talk about like uh, perch birds then uh, uh, when the bird is behind some perch or there is a, some sort of uh, uh, obstacle in front of bird then also uh, this particular firmware sticks to the particular uh, subject that is our bird and uh, in the previous firmware it usually uh, grabs a focus uh, whichever comes in front of a particular bird like uh, any particular branch or uh, usually it keeps off keeps jumping uh, uh, photo focus keeps jumping all over the place if there is a something in front of a bird but with this particular firmware uh, i would say uh, it is uh, much better uh, so i can uh, confidently now use uh, bird tracking in any particular situation i don't want don't require to do the uh, uh, single focus point or a small focus areas uh, when a bird, a bird is uh, behind some perch or like uh, some uh, branches front of the bird and uh, yeah I means like a <clears throat> initial acquisition it's kind of same like uh, it's depend on your uh, basically um, your lens autofocus speed but uh, once it acquires the focus it uh, tries to uh, stick with the subject so today i am use, using uh, this particular combination like a nikon z9 with the 500 pf and uh, uh, I have tried to take uh, flights of sort of uh, stone chat, uh, strike and uh, kingfisher, some of the small birds and uh, uh, tracking is really good. Uh, so now there is not much complaint about the autofocus. If there is something then it must be a user error. So I am uh, pretty happy with this uh, new firmware upgrade and uh, let's uh, view these images on the computer how it looks how it track the subject this is a first sequence where a white-breasted uh, kingfisher is coming towards me 
for any autofocus system like uh, when birds is coming towards you it is very difficult to track and in this sequence z9 has tracked this particular bird very well like uh, most of the shots are sharp and yeah, all are in focus Ex excellent uh, job with uh, this uh, new firmware So this is another uh, fly pass of uh, Indian spot bellied duck, which is uh, not quite fast, but just to show you how it has tracked this bird. And uh, once each and every photograph from this sequence is uh, uh, perfectly sharp, like uh, there is no out of foot focus photograph from this sequence is yes, uh, this is a kind of bird which can be tracked uh, from old camera system like a d500 or uh, it can be tracked but uh, hit ratio is like uh, seven out of ten are critically sharp This is a perfect example of uh, demonstrating a new firmware. Basically with the previous generation of uh, firmware, uh, if I use a 3D tracking with this subject, then in this situation, then uh, autofocus keep jumping on branches and bird and it's not stable on the bird and uh, in case of bird is in deep fit in the foliage or there are branches in front of it, then I might require to use a single out point autofocus system. But in here, a uh, new bird uh, tracking mode has tracked this particular bird very well. And each and every shot from this sequence is uh, sharp and autofocus has nailed the bird uh, very well. This is a male stone jet which was uh, flying around me and I got uh, many sequence of this particular beautiful bird but if I talk about this sequence then again from this sequence I got many keepers most of the uh, shots from this sequence are in focus uh, and beautifully sharp yeah this is a last sequence i would like to show you in this sequence uh, blue tailed Peter is uh, flying from the thick grasses 
and uh, the first shot is in focus and uh, second one is fo in focus but later uh, focus jumped into the grass and these shots are not in focus but later it again gained the focus back and uh, this shot is in focus and then after few shots are out of focus little bit uh, out of focus i would say it's not critically sharp and then uh, again it acquired the focus once uh, this particular bird comes out of that particular grass and uh, uh, autofocus system has identified and it has tracked this particular bird, bird all over the frame. So again, like uh, this is kind of situation in which uh, none of the AF system is uh, perfectly foolproof, but uh, again like uh, this is a kind of extreme use case but overall uh, uh, new firmware uh, has uh, has a edge over the previous generation of the firmwares